Hey folks, Rob Potter here from The Promise Revealed, and uh, I've been having uh, a lot of complaints <laughs> through the years about accessing the inner circle. I'm not so techy, but uh, I got some things sorted out now, so I wanted to share with you why you might want to join the inner circle and show those people who are members how to navigate it. It's um, been a little tricky unless you have the, the thing, but now we have the blog and everything's up and functioning. So I'm going to share with you guys uh, right away here and get right into it. And first we're going to start out on my home page uh, right here. So this is my home page and here you'll see the actual video link that you click to get to this video. It's going to show you, we're going to show you how to get in here. So you have my navigation here, you have my bio, my press, upcoming events or trips were taken. You have my shop uh, and when you're an inner circle member when you're logged in you'll be able to see certain discounts for certain products so that's something in the future but let's just say you 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 want to become um, uh, a member of the inner circle so you're going to go into here and you're going to go into slide down the front page here and it's going to show you the inner circle membership you're going to click on this here, and when you get there, you're going to simply uh, make the purchase and sign up. So, um, if you're, uh, I believe, if you're a basic membership, there might be a little discount here for this. But so you have this here, and what you're going to get when you sign up you're going to get an auto reply and I'm going to show you uh, what that auto reply looks like this is the auto reply you get it says thank you for joining um, and where this is located is actually on the member blog but you're going to get this in an auto reply it's going to give you information here uh, and you're going to get an ability with a username and password and how to log in. It's going to come with this. And there's some, some really fun stuff here. So after you get this, you're going to come here. And I'm going to show you right now. This is the most information that you have in the inner circle at this point. I will be adding more archives and I'm finally going to make this thing happen after all these years. People have been telling me i got to get my act together and it's true. So these are links. This is a password uh, to go to this site. It's called Mega. Your username are we are as one nine at Gmail, all lowercase, and then password is lowercase and uppercase sensitive. So capital W A A N O. So we are as one nine. Same thing. So it's real simple. So I'm gonna make it real simple, and I'm gonna take you to this first link on the very first blog and your auto reply let me show you the information that you get once you're logged in here this is what you're going to see it doesn't look like this much but i'm going to show you right now um, a couple things now it's spelled incorrect it's supposed to be tia a friend of mine put this together and um, i don't necessarily agree with every single word of wisdom in here we all have our own apperception but it's a tremendous compendium of information for you so let's go to the ranch pa papers just for the heck of it in an mp3 so these are basically recordings that you can simply um, listen to it's quite a long set of recordings so you can just listen and just relax and, and hear about the administration of the universe, the local universe, uh, a lot of different things here. So that's just one aspect of one link. Let's go to audiobooks in MP3. Okay, again, uh, better double click here. It's going to take you to a lot of information where uh, the astral plane by C.W. Ledbetter, the causal body and the E. Uh, and the Ego by E. Powell, um, Afterlife Bar Barbara Marciniak, um, uh, Bringers of uh, Dawn, I believe it is, uh, or Dan Millman, The Peaceful Warrior, uh, uh, Ramtha, 
Um, I actually uh, introduced Jay-Z Knight to Ramtha. She bought a pyramid from me, I think, in 1978. And she came back the next day and she had all kinds of information. Lob Song Rampa, uh, of the Third Eye. This is a great book. Absolutely fantastic. Um, I haven't heard the audio version, but there's a lot of information, spiritual information in all of these books. Uh, you may not be um, you know, partial to every single bit of it, but um, it's quite a bit of information here for, for the discerning contactee. Um, a lot of stuff. So let's go back again. That's just this is this is just two of the things here. Now I'm going to take you down to. I really like this one because this has a lot of my favorite books in here, and I'm going to recommend a couple for you. Right when we get in here, I'm going to show you some of my favorites. There's a lot of good stuff in here. Um, you got the Law of One, Life is the Father Within. I want to show you um, the Giant Rock Commemorative. This is really good. You should. I want you to look at that one. Richard Miller, uh, these are actual recordings from way back when in the early days of the contactees when UFOs were appearing and upside the window and they would speak through, this is a particularly uh, powerful voice channel. He was in contact um, with a, a gentleman named Soltek from Alpha Centauri, uh, a well-respected member of the Confederation who did a lot of research on what was going on here. Uh, really good. Now, this is a great book. This is called Secret of the Andes, and I have an intimate, um, I'm intimately associated with this book through Louis Martens and Understanding the Golden Disc of the Sun. So this is about a, 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 a golden disc that was found in Peru. I'm sorry, that was uh, um, used in Peru. But this guy's name was Brother Philip. His real name was George Hunt Williamson. He was a very famous uh, trans medium channel, a direct voice telepathic uh, for the Space Brothers to many people. And he was a uh, archaeologist by trade. And he did a lot of stuff down in South America. And he actually translated. He still is alive and works on the earth looking like a young guy again. So this is the origin of the Brotherhood of the Seven Rays, or the understanding of the interior government of the Earth, which we know is the Great White Brotherhood. All seven rays is, 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 the, is the white light. This, where I live here in Mount Shasta, beneath there is, a, is an inner retreat cloaked in the fifth dimension. And this takes you through the history of Lemuria and the Pacific and how it sunk a little bit. And... Um, there was a, this golden disc, and it was picked up. And this takes you through that story where the disc was bought um, and where it went and to South America. There was a Lemurian colony in Cusco, which was on the ocean. And then there was another place it was taken was Tiwanaku. Then it was taken to Atlantis. And then when Atlantis sunk, it was taken to uh, Egypt. So... All the images in Egypt of the sun or in the Sufi, the sun with wings, all represent this technology, which was an interdimensional monitoring way station connected to the divine administration of the hierarchy of light of the administration of the multiple dimensions. And they were able to monitor the situation and the people on earth, some of the masters here were entrusted with using it properly. It was misused and caused the sinking of Atlantis. And so um, it was held by ropes of pure gold in the shrine of the greatest temple of divine light of the motherland, Mu. It was a giant golden disk of the sun. Before it on an altar, which was a pillar carved out of solid stone, there blazed an eternal white light of the crystalline maxim flame. And they have one of these on Venus as well. It's, it's a flame of inner silence and purity. Incredible book. So I highly recommend you look into this book here, number one. Uh, there's another book, uh, Richard Miller, Tiger's Fang, Paul Twitchell is really good. Uh, Tuella, uh, this is a woman connected to Ashtar as well. You got some concerts in the 60s and 70s. You got a lot of stuff. Uh, conversations with Sai Baba, autobiography, the entire book. Bashar Channelings, uh, Dara Ankh. Um, 
health stuff. And I want to see, I think we have the Carlos Castaneda series of books that's in here. Courtney Brown, uh, Bashar again, David Icke. We have the Emerald Tablets in here, I think. E L. You see the Emerald Tablets. I, I thought we had the Emerald Tablets in here. I haven't seen them, so. But we got a lot of um, great books in here. So look at all these books. These are all document books you can read. Okay. Oops, it just keeps going. J.K.L. Mayan information, some ancient history, a lot of stuff in here. Ospensky. Anyway, so I'm not going to go. The, the books just, the, they just keep coming here. So that's, let's go out of the book section. Okay? We, we've seen some audio. We've got a bunch of pictures. Um, let me show you some uh, uh, classic MP4s. These are uh, uh, video, or videos of some uh, interesting people. Here's Luis Gasparato, a channel who paints in the dark, blindfolded, sometimes with his hand and his feet, two hands at the same time, painting, channeling masters, Picasso, Gauguin, uh, Rembrandt. They're all uh, working through him proving kind of the uh, um, understanding of uh, that we live before in reincarnation. So this is just one of the links I've showed you so far, right? Uh, you got words of wisdom. Uh, here's a great one here. This has a, a tremendous amount. There's my book. Um, here's the UFOs, best photos ever. Um, you've got um, an incredible amount of pictures of, of spaceships. Again, uh, you have the Law of One. The Emerald Tablets, here it is. The Book of Enoch. Many of the contactees from the early days. Uh, George Adamski. There's a lot of information. Eisenhower briefing. Uh, this is a tremendous volume of information, folks. Daniel Fry. Um, oh, I think I should show you this one. Uh, actually, I get that. Daniel Fry was taken to the Flying Saucer. Here's John Lear. Okay, this is a video of him. Four hours. Uh, Bob Short at Giant Rock. The movie. Wendell Stevens. Uh, tremendous amount of information here. Look at this. UFO contact from the Pleiades. This is a great one. UFO contact Bob Renaud. Okay, he was in contact with the Corindorians. And um, this is a guy that I worked, I've spoken with. He was talking to them on a computer in the 60s. Never come out to the public, no interest, but he works with them closely. At, um, and uh, there's a lot of uh, government interference throughout his life. He's been to their planet. Amazing, amazing uh, series of information from him. Highly recommended for those people who are interested in contact experience. Um, here's Lobsang Rampa, my visit, my uh, visit to Venus, um, and again, and again. Here we are. We're in, uh, you know, these are incredible amounts of UFO videos here. Uh, these videos are, are chronicling quite a, a large number of extraterrestrial sightings in each one. There might be ten or twenty live videos, or maybe even more. So. Uh, George Van Tassel, the Sedona Journal. So much information, folks. Okay, I've just opened up a couple of these. So I just wanted to show you. I'm not going to go through all this, but if you go in here and research and click on these, you have books to read, auto, audios to listen to, and images to look at. So now I'm going to show you um, um, the... Uh, which one is this? This is. Uh, let's see if this is it. Um, okay, this is the inner circle. So this is your auto reply. It's also the first um, blog, as I showed you on the on the. We're going to go back to that. So here are messages. Like for instance, if you want to see the six dimensional Venusian commander, give the first question and answer ever on the sixty seventh anniversary to the hour 
of George Adamski's contact with the Venusian Orthon. It was Lady Orta, my friend Raymond Keller's contact, if you follow me. You can hear a personal message that I don't normally let people hear uh, from them. Um, there's a message on tachyons, uh, and I have a lot more stuff I'm going to be revealing from the last few years. I'm going to be turning this into a kind of an autobiographical biographical book. This is Project Speak. This is Kim Gogan, Kim Possible. Uh, I won't go into that. She's kind of controversial, but she is uh, one of the most powerful um, and in integrity light workers, and she actually holds a position as ground command. <laughs> People aren't going to recognize that. So, a uh, lot of good stuff here. Now, I'm going to take you, um, uh, just go back a step, and we'll take you to the other blogs. So this is when you get in the inner circle and you're logged in, you just come here to the member blog, click on inner circle, and look what else we got. So I had a conference this summer, and um, oh, here it is. I don't even have to click it. It's already there. So I had two camera crews. I give a little background. I give credits to the people that stepped up and took the place of one of the cameras that, that stuck out. And there's a great uh, guy. His name is um, Edward... Uh, and he was a great help and another special shout out to the uh, University of Oregon uh, gentleman Willix Wheeling he was tremendous just a rock and help us get this incredible compilation of 43 videos many speakers Raymond Keller myself Celestine Starr Dr. Scott Warner Marine St. Germain, Lowell Johnson, the guy who went inside the mountain here at Mount Shasta, uh, Raymond Keller, of course, Gavin Hukasian, who's on the Secret Space Program panel and uh, incredible athlete and does Qigong, the Contact E panel with Marcella, Raymond, Vivian, myself, Alex Collier, Celestine, a Divine Goddess paddle with Maureen, Laura Eisenhower, Jamie Liu, Sherry Lynn, Secret Space Program with myself, Tony Rodriguez, Michael Jaco, Alex Collier. Um, I did my pyramid. Uh, we have Suzanne Ross of uh, Sci Spy TV. Dennis Adams, a famous uh, healer. Everyone's speaking twice. Michael Jaco uh, twice and on a couple panels. Uh, William uh, Van de Bogard. And he was a credible contact in, in a sense. He has a very unique understanding and technology and he works with very high level scientists and uh, has actually turned his sounds information is tuned into his DNA. Here's a new one I just met. Wonderful woman, Vivian Chavez, of course Alex Collier. He was supposed to be on the 5D panel, but um, he uh, didn't know. <laughs> he wasn't paying attention to the clock. Uh, Sacred Geometry with Sam, Sam and uh, Celestine. We've got Eric the Healer or Eric Datamar doing a, a talk. We have Willard doing the actual conference, and here's a great gal, Jane DeForest. She just gave me a reading, and uh, my guides and angels, and actually my mother, my father, and Fred Bell came through, and um, I know it was absolutely real because she mentioned some things about Fred, and Fred gave me some pointers on some stuff here. So she's an incredible person to work on the other side. Of course, my good buddy Brooks Agnew, the Patriot, and... Um, the inner earth guy, and uh, he's got about 100 irons in the fire. And, of course, uh, another good friend of mine, Tony Rodriguez, one of the secret space program guys that um, uh, was working on the um, uh, asteroid called uh, Ceres and with a government base there and all that stuff. Lorian Spagna, always on fire. Brad Olson, my buddy, ski partner. Laura Eisenhower, uh had a, a three-part series and she was on panels and again 43 all for the price of the inner circle along with the other stuff so I, I think I'm uh, showing everyone here that this really is uh, it's a good value you remember for life and we're going to be changing it so uh, and adding more and more content when you're logged in and I'll be putting this in a blog we're going to make a couple series of of uh, oops a series of uh, discounts for for instance, here is a book section, and Raymond Keller has six books. Six books or 25 each is 150. You get right off the bat with the with this series, you get 
a twenty-six dollar value to put six books in a priority for you. It's twenty-six bucks to get it to you in the United States only. We're not shipping to the United States or can't outside because it's very expensive right now. But um, that's just um, uh, 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 one of the offers we have. So if you're an Inner Circle member on this particular book, you would get this for 130 for six books. And um, you get the, I'm sorry, you get that for, uh, yeah, let me, I'll take it, got to go to the book section. So you get that for 130 and that would give you six books and free shipping. So that's literally uh, a, uh, two free books, basically and shipping. So here are Raymond's six books starting, uh, you know, he has so much information on Venus. There's other contactees, but one half of this book will contain more information than most contactees have in their lifetime. They call him the Venusian historian. He works closely with the angel force. This woman here is the queen of Venus. They run on a matriarchal society patterned somewhat after the bees, like, uh, Nikola Tesla mentioned we should uh, pattern our lives after, um, or our society after, not our lives. But uh, so she was born on the earth in 1585. She's about 400 and something years old now. She was a dual citizen of Venus since 1830 on the earth. She lived a very long time. Um, and then uh, uh, this is all about rockets proving all the lies and everything about, about the. Uh, space program and all that and a lot of information raymond weaves uh pop culture a sense of humor and tremendous metaphysical and spiritual knowledge in all of his books this is a uh, about the silence group and the cover-up and the uh, way that uh, the ufo community has been marginalized misled and destroyed by the deep state or the military industrial complex that eisenhower fought against or the majestic 12 and those uh, demons that kind of are keeping the truth from you. This woman, Lady Columba, uh, visited Raymond after he released these two books, wearing a red beret with another woman, and uh, she handed him the manuscript. He wrote this. She wrote this book in 1960 after living on the moon and working with the Venusians and the Angel Force. I wrote the introduction. A tremendous book. I think on the if you click on it, you get my introduction. This is the latest book. The, Flying Saucers and the Venus Legacy. Uh, incredible. And then, of course, uh, he's just released the Gospel of Thomas. We have a limited edition of spiral bound copies. Uh, we're actually sold out, but he'll make print up a few more. We're expecting the first edition to come out. Again, I wrote the introduction to that. And uh, I'll be putting, I think I put that introduction up here already. But it's already on the blog, and it basically is a tremendous amount of knowledge and spiritual technology that allowed Raymond to use a technology that was used by Moses and his son with the Ark of the Covenant and it was also used by Joseph Smith so and there's my book there's a book about Fred and I this is a foot the book about Valiant Thor written by Dr. Frank Stranges and for those who don't know I've met Valiant Thor I met his wife Jill and I've also met Don and quite a few other Venusians. This is Fred Bell's wonderful book. If you want to know anything about pyramids and the technologies that we have, right there. So, um, this is uh, one special. So, I just wanted to show you that when you logged into the Inner Circle, we will have various specials on various products. So, I have all these different products. Uh, you know, the, uh, the Light Watch is one of my favorites. And um, anyway, so I think what I, we should do is we should uh, let you know that if you, for instance, when you get your login to, uh, to go to the, uh, uh, let me, let, let's get to this and we'll go to, uh, we'll go back one here. It should take us to the uh, inner circle block. So when you get your login here, you're going to log in, you're going to get that automatic thing and you'll be able to see these blogs. We're going to have, there's four parts to this. They're going to be up here uh, tonight. So there's going to be a lot of stuff. So if you forgot your password because they give you a really difficult one, 
we have this thing where you get reset you forgot your password unfortunately you can't reset your own right now we're going to put that in hopefully tonight or the next day so right now it just gives you another long complicated password and i know people like to create their own so we're going to make that fix so make sure you're always logged in if you're ever thinking of purchasing anything a lot of great uh some of my uh best writings are in here the space program harp um, um some of my great teachers was martin and of course our master um and the victory of light blog we have a lot of stuff in here so check out the website be sure to get to the inner circle become a member for life you get all of that information you're going to get some discounts to my summer conference it's coming up in the first weekend of july this year we're going to beat the heat beat the fires and um uh, have a beautiful uh nice green uh, event here in mount shasta so look at all here's a, some blogs to enter these are the four parts of the gospel it's 11 pages i broke it up um and then of course the summer conference recordings entrance page here for those people um we got the summer conference schedule uh here's an interview with vivian chavez um, here's one with uh, Scott Warner and uh, Marine St. Germain, um, Brooks Agnew. Uh, here's me spouting off about the vaccinations on Independence Day. And so we have a lot of stuff here. I'm going to try to get this together and keep it in a, in a higher level of uh, functionality. Um, so you can always look through here. I think it was, uh, if you're not a member, it will show something else here. Uh, I'm not, uh, I guess I could uh, do that. I, I think it says you can join, the, I think it says join the inner circle here. And once you're a member, you'll see this. My account, don't really have to pay attention to that right now. We're not really using it. I've made it real simple. But we're going to be showing, uh, you'll have the reference of your orders and other different things here subscriptions you can create a profile um and i hope you enjoyed this and i hope it's gonna um encourage you to uh actually use your inner circle membership if you've been in here for years uh you can you're basically a member for life i may uh once this really gets functioning and running i may make this a um um an annual membership but for now because i've been such a mess i've everyone's a member one other thing if you have been a member email me um on the information on my website and we'll take care of that for you so i better let you go uh this is a 30 minute introduction but you're really understanding that we do have something really good here for you on the inner circle with recordings and uh we're gonna uh get uh a discount for all inner circle members to come to the conference this next summer and i look forward to uh meeting you and seeing you soon i also thought i'd mention anyone's interested in having raymond or i come we're going to be reaching out reaching to churches uh, uh in regards to sharing the new gospel of jesus christ which was written as a gift a supernatural gift to the people of earth through the Venusians and their chosen messenger in the Ministry of Angels, Dr. Raymond Keller. I was honored to be able to write the introduction to this, and I've been learning a tremendous amount and have a, a deeper understanding of the hierarchy of light and why the uh, teachings of Christ had to come, you know, with the extraterrestrials hidden to view, so to speak. Another long discussion that you can find out if you follow me. Thank you very much, so folks. Victory Light. Oh, and this is a new product going to be coming out soon. Uh, won't have all the stones. We'll have we have different designs on this. So this is a, a product we're coming up with, and uh, we have some really great discounts uh, to kick it off. So thank you so much, and um, we'll uh, hopefully see you on the backside. Always feel free to reach out to me if you ever get to Mount Shasta. Stop on by. All right. God bless, folks, and take care.